Good Thursday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this January 23rd. My, is it cold outside? Yesterday, cloudy skies, a few flurries. It wasn't the mostly sunny day we had anticipated. In fact, yesterday's forecast was what we call a bust. It blew up. The bubble burst. We got it wrong. Everybody got it wrong. Weather Service, Weather Channel, I don't care who you quote, everybody was on the wrong page. It just shows you this kind of winter it is. Very fickle. It has its own personality, if you will. And it's, uh, you know, it's really hard to pin down. Winter is the worst for forecasting. Thunderstorms, you know, severe weather, rain, temperatures in the summer the warm season that all that's easy stuff when you start dealing with winter weather man it's an aggravation almost to those of us that are in the forecasting business you know we can look at all the computer forecast guidance the models we can look at all that information we got you know thousands of charts and graphs to look at and maps and all that and it's still yeah very frustrating. But anyway, uh, this has been an unusual winter. We've had winters like this before. You know, uh, every everybody's uh, thinking is generational. You know, we think, uh, well, wow, this, I've never seen this happen before. Well, maybe you've never seen it happen before. And it's, it's especially funny and hilarious to hear young people. Oh, my goodness. What, what is going on? I don't understand. I never... I'm like, you're what, 20-something? Give me a break. We've uh, Let me tell you about uh, 1994. Let me tell you about uh, January of 78. Some of you will say, well, let me tell you about the winter of 1960. When we- a Western was supposed to go and play a state championship and we got snowed in with a blizzard. Eh, kids, what can you do? Anyway, uh, it is a very fickle pattern. Looks like it's not going to change, even though we're going to see kind of this ebb and flow of uh, trying to warm up. And just as we warm up, here comes more of those uh, little systems in that uh, clippers. I know somebody made fun of me yesterday for saying clippers a whole bunch of times. That's what they are. They're Alberta clipper system. Google it. Look it up. Educate yourself. Uh, but uh, that's that's what's happening, and it looks like a never-ending parade of these things will be coming through. And uh, each time we try to warm up, we're just going to cool back down. If you'll look at my blog site this morning, I've uh, posted a, a chart, a graphic that goes uh, that shows the the GFS model. That's the Global Forecast System model, and uh, it shows Bowling Green and the temperature ride that we're going to take over the next few days it shows the current cold air but next week uh looks even colder than this week if you can imagine that and very little in the way of snow by the way Mm. so here we go with the numbers 23 was our high temperature yesterday that happened almost 6 30 last night at the bowling green airport 45 that's where we should be And that chart will show that. It will show the average high as a red line and the average low as a blue line. And somewhere in the middle there is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the freezing mark. That's kind of an orange line. If you pull up my blog site right now, you'll know what I'm talking about. You can see it. Uh, But you can see the temperature chart and how uh, the numbers don't even come close to the average high. And in some cases... The temperatures are below the average low of 26. Yeah, it's going to be that cold. So 23 was our high yesterday. 45 is where we're supposed to be. That's 22 degrees difference. Five was the official low temperature yesterday in Bowling Green. Not a record. 26 is where we should be. That's a 21 degree difference. One year ago, we had a high of 28 and a low of 16 back in 2013. And aside for, from a few flurries yesterday, no measurable precipitation at the Bowling Green Airport. 
Today, breezy with occasional flurries, a day much like yesterday, although we could see a little bit more sunshine mixing with the clouds. The big story today, a wind chill advisory is in effect for much of the WBKO viewing area. This means, and it's coming right now as we speak this morning, almost 5 a.m., uh, I've been watching the mesonet sites off to the north and west of Bowling Green, and already sub-zero wind chill factors are beginning to show up on the map. The winds have been fairly light. As I stepped out this morning and got in the car a little after 3, uh, the winds were calm, but now the winds are starting to pick up, and with temperatures only in the upper teens to near 20, now the winds are going to start to pick up, and we're going to find Wind chill factors at 5 to 10 to 15 degrees below zero. So here's the problem. As we go through the day, those winds are going to be whipping around 12 to 20, maybe 25 miles per hour. That's going to make for sub-zero wind chill factors. That's dangerous. If you're going to be out at all, you're going to have to put on extra layers, especially your face, your ears, your nose, your hands certainly your feet. Check on the pets, elderly. Yeah, it's going to be uh, reminiscent of two weeks ago. 19. That's our high today, but we've already hit that. The temperatures will actually go down as we go through the morning and then recover a little bit in the afternoon. Tonight, partly cloudy, very, very cold. Overnight low expected to be 2 just two degrees above zero, but the the winds will calm down. That's good news. The winds will be light this evening. For Friday, mostly sunny, some recovery, a high of 26. But just as soon as that happens, we get a little system that's going to fly through with maybe a chance of snow flurries early Saturday morning. That's going to pass on by, but here's the change. The winds, then, will move out of the southwest, and we're going to warm all the way to 43 by Saturday afternoon with sunshine returning. Then yet, as we get into Sunday, mostly sunny, 46, and you think, hey, we're on the uphill slide here. We're, we're going in the right direction. And just as soon as we start to warm up and get close to 50 degrees, Sunday afternoon and evening, here comes another clipper, and with it, a chance of some light snow showers Sunday night late into early Monday morning. We go from 46 down to 19, and then Monday, with those early morning snow showers becoming partly sunny, breezy, colder, high of only 26, down to 7 for Monday night, then only up to 19 on Tuesday, then back down to 9 Tuesday night, back up to 29 on Wednesday. So it is going to stay cold with a temporary, and I do mean temporary, warm-up for Saturday and Sunday. Hoo-wee. I've never wanted spring to arrive more than I do now. But we can't rush this. It'll be here before you know it. All right, you guys, stay warm. And stay blessed, and God bless you for listening to the podcast, as always. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky and streaming live to WBKO.com.